So now let us see what is an ecosystem. You have already studied about ecosystem. Ecosystem is comprised of biotic and abiotic components. So what is ecosystem? It is a part of the environment. Ecosystem is a self-sustainable unit in which an organism can live completely throughout its life. Whereas all the biotic and abiotic components of an ecosystem, they interact with each other and they maintain a balance. So if you see such an ecosystem, you find two things, biotic factors and abiotic components, biotic components and abiotic components. We can call these abiotic components as physical components also. So what are these physical or abiotic? It includes temperature, rainfall, wind, humidity, soil, minerals. These are the abiotic components. What are the biotic components? Plants, animals and microorganisms. You see any micro, any ecosystem, it consists of plants, animals and microorganisms. So they interact with each other. If you see an ecosystem, the biotic components, they interact with each other and they even interact with the abiotic components. So there is a lot of interaction and they affect each other. For example, a plant, a plant is there. A plant has to grow. For the growth of the plant, energy is required. That is supplied by the sun, temperature, sunlight. Light is also a physical component. So this abiotic factor, that is the sunlight, is affecting the growth of the plant. Rain is important for the growth of plants. So rain is the another physical component that is influencing the growth of plants. So in this way, they are interrelated. They are affected by each other. So this is on basing what this ecosystem, it survives. That is an ecosystem. If you find an ecosystem in that ecosystem, we will see the interactions between the biotic and abiotic components. But here we already discussed that if something additional, which is not a part of that particular environment is added to that, it leads to pollution. If something is brought between this by human activities, the interactions are disturbed. It affects the life of these organisms, certain organisms may die. So a tree is an ecosystem. You have an ecosystem, a tree. The farmer, the tree has got so many fruits. The tree has got so many flowers. The tree has got so many birds. It has got squirrels. It has got caterpillars. It has got ants. Likewise, so many organisms. The farmer who is owning the tree, he don't want any insects on the tree because they, he thinks that they cause damage to the product, to the produce, to the fruits. So he sprayed some chemical insecticide on the tree. The insects died, but it causes a disturbance among the natural relationships between these biotic and abiotic components. It disturbs the natural relation between the biotic components. If the insects are destroyed there, some other organisms might have depended on that insects. So in this way, it creates a disturbance. So the disturbance in an ecosystem, that means the disturbance between the relationships between the biotic and abiotic components is done by human activities, that is by pollution. Now let us see what are these uh, components in the biotic components. What are the plants, animals, how they are categorized there, how the energy relations are built up there in an ecosystem and how the food relations are built up in this uh, ecosystem, let us see. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.